So today, as of recording, I went back downtown to do a little bit of an interview at a brewery, which is pretty, uh, pretty good. Pretty good interview. Very quick, very short, uh, and that's pretty much it. I also bought some beer when I was downtown because, well, that's what you do. Or at least, that's what I do, and that's what I hope you all do as well. So let's just uh, let's jump into this, shall we? Beer, 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 beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Maple Ruski from the Ruski Ruski Review. And today, the beer should be on this side. There you go, beer we have for you today is from Mascot Brewing. We have their Mondo West Coast Session IPA. Boom, you got a little little wave with a, with a sun behind it on a pink can. Pretty cool looking can. Good, good design indeed. West Coast Session IPA. Don't think I've ever had a West Coast Session IPA. I've had Session IPAs and West Coast IPAs before, but ne never a, you know, a baby one per se. 4.5% alcohol is by volume in this beer. Any IBUs? No IBUs listed on the website. Um, untapped is showing it's coming in at 64 IBUs and 5.5% ABV. I'm gonna double check. I'm just gonna put it in. Maybe there's a couple different versions of Mondo. Mondo, right? Mondo, yes. Uh, nope. We just have the one right here. We're coming in, it says 5.5% ABV. Mine says 4.5. I wanna go with that. And 64 IBUs. Nowhere else do we have IBUs, so not too sure about that one. But hey, if it is, that's kind of cool. Fairly high bitterness on here. Not much booziness. Without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. There we go. Nice full can indeed. Oast House Beer Glass. Don't remember the name of it. Something with a W if I'm not mistaken. It was a funny name, but somehow I don't remember. Let's pour it up though. Let's see what we got. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Here's a nice brewski. For the Ruski. Beautiful. Bang. A little bit of a heavier pour on that end bit, but hey, it's alright. Look at the beer. Nice golden in color. A little bit of haze. Nothing too crazy. Nice big white head just because of my uh, little bit of an aggressive finish on that particular pour, but not bad at all. Not as dark as, uh, you know, other West Coast IP styled IPAs and whatnot. Uh, thinking of like bone shaker where it's a lot more darker uh, this is definitely a bit more well, definitely more golden uh, than that which is kind of cool diamond on the nose hmm piney grapefruity 100% a little bit of caramel a little bit of like pine resin some burnt orange other orange citrus notes Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's give it a swirl. A little tropical. Yeah, like, like mangoes and a hint of uh, lemon. Lemon, yeah. Oh, there's something else in here. It's kind of like um, herbal, almost. Yeah, so there's a little like herbal note in here in the back end. Can't figure out what it is, but very neat. Quite neat indeed. Let's dive in. On the sip. Again, piney, grapefruity a little bit in the front. A little bit more earthy um, on the uh, on on the taste compared to the nose. Yeah, a little earthy. A little, I don't know, on that first sip, didn't get a whole lot, which is kind of interesting. More more of a um, uh, a bitter pine right on the uh, the back end and, and close and in that lingering flavor, which is actually quite enjoyable. Again, ta 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 Today, Junior, touch a touch of earthiness, earth, earthy bitterness in the back end there as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. We need to learn more though. So with that said, cheers everybody. Well, let's keep on drinking. Yeah, piney, grapefruity, 
nah, 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 maybe not as much grapefruit. Definitely piney, definitely woodsy as well. Woodsy, light earthiness, not light, not light as in like minimal, but light as in like a brighter bit of earthiness. Pine resin, um, and then and then a sharper pine and and an earthy note. Um, and a bright earthy note in the uh, in, in the back and, and the lingroom flavor, which is kind of cool. I am kind of digging that, but not 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 not, not, not as sweet or as light or, or as fruity uh, compared to the nose. Pretty damn good. I'm not. I don't think I'm getting that herbaliness, that that slight little bit of herbal aroma that I got from the nose. After a little bit, I'm gonna drop some of that tropical note, but definitely a bit more like a burnt orange, orange, a little bit of lemon. Yeah, and again, a little, a little woodsy on the nose as well. Pretty damn good beer. Mm -hmm. Might not be big on ABV, but yeah, pretty big on flavor. And, and that bitterness, that 64 bitterness from Untapped, I can kind of believe it. Again, don't know the exact number, but it does have a longer, uh, bitter finish, which I really do enjoy quite a bit. It's not, it's not unpleasant at all. It's not astringent. It's not, it's not off-putting. It's just, hmm, sticks with you a little bit. And adds that little bit of spice, a little bit of flair uh, to, to, to the whole beer. Pretty cool stuff. Let's see what Mascot has to say. So we got Mascot Brewery Mondo West Coast Session IPA, 4.5% ABV, 64 IBUs according to Untapped. Uh, I don't know what the hell that was. Uh, here we go. Keep craft chill. Oh, sorry. Keeping craft chill. My apologies. Description reads, all the flavor and aroma of a classic West Coast IPA and a sessionable ABV. Notes of pine resin, orange zest, and a balanced bitterness with a toasted malt backbone. Uh, Mondo is a bright West Coast session IPA brewed with balance in mind. Mondo finishes with notes of mango and lime. This beer is Mondo. Don't know what Mondo means. Uh, mango and lime. Okay, maybe, maybe I was right with the tropicalness. I didn't really get much mango on the uh, end and lime. Not really for me. On the nose, a little bit more of that citrusy. Little bit of, I guess, tropicalness that I initially got and then kind of lost. Um, but not not, a, not 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 on the flavor. Kind of interesting. Hops that are used are Columbus, Centennial, and Amarillo. Pretty cool. On the bottom, any packaged on dates. No date code to see. Kind of a bummer, but not the end of the world. But still, you know, I, I like seeing date codes. Just just personal preference, I guess. Good body on it. Light, but not airy. Not a heavy body. Not a ton of effervescence on this particular can either. Maybe because it was a little bit of that uh, heavier, heavier pour release, a lot of that CO2. But it's it's not it's not a very effervescent beer. It's not a flat beer by any means. It's not undercarved. Um, but you do start to get the bubbles as, as it travels across your palate, which is kind of cool as well. Let's check out the website. Let's see what Masca has to say. Pretty much, pretty much has to say the exact same thing as the can. Uh, brewing, uh, sorry, the website though is mascotbrewery.com. Go there, you go to the beer section. You will have to, it does switch you over to a different website where you can shop. Yeah, I guess you can also take a look at these on their uh, on their menu page as well. Um, but yeah, over on the uh, shop page, I guess it just says a sessionable West Coast a uh, Pale Ale with lots of flavor but less alcohol. Very similar to what the can has to say. The can's definitely where you're getting your most, most of your information. There's also a price. We'll get to that in just a uh, in just a hot second. But finally, over on Untapped, to get a rating or a general consensus. Mondo West Coast has been given a solid 3.6 bottle caps out of five, and that's out of 96 ratings. 3.6, very respectable for sure. Again, not really getting a hint of malt. Personally, I don't know why. Maybe just that that bitterness is a little um, that bit, that bitterness intensity is, a little, is much higher than, than that little bit of maltiness. But yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, somebody says pronounced bitter bite. Definitely getting that. 
As for the price, I'm guessing this is before tax, $4.60 for a 473 ml tall boy can. A little pricey, in my opinion, but hey, you know, it's not a bad beer by any means. If you're looking for something with big flavor but not a lot of booze, you're definitely going to get it with Mondo. Pretty damn good stuff. Just in the final sip, guys. Oh, let's get ready to try and wrap this thing up. That's just delicious. That's a really delicious beer. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. That long lasting bit bitterness to it. The light earthy notes, uh, the bright earthy notes, a little bit of citrus kicking around, that pininess moving throughout. Damn, damn good stuff. Overall, Mondo, West Coast Session IPA. Gets a solid, ooh, it's really good. Gets a solid seven, nine out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, it'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's gonna do it for me, Mate Bruski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, we got some Mondo left in the can. Let's see how it pours. Won't pour regressive to make sure it doesn't get, you know, super heady. But I guess it still did. Cheers.